Well, it's, it's, not, it's not unusual for presidents to use uh, outside, even private citizens, to help conduct foreign relations. It goes all the way back uh, you know, to the founding of our republic when people would be sent to overseas to negotiate that not, are not necessarily always directly connected to the federal government. But what we also have here... We usually have some diplomatic or foreign policy Not always, but, we, but there, are, there are examples where that has not happened. But also, it's very important, I think we get to the bottom of the fact that you had a sitting vice president of the United States in Joe Biden who had warnings given by the State Department, by other people, who said that there were appearances of impropriety, and those should be investigated, those should be looked into. So I think as we deal with the, the, the fact that has not changed, that there was a history of corruption in the Ukraine, that I think it's entirely appropriate for the President of the United States to ask a new administration that's coming in on an anti-corruption platform to make sure they're following through with their commitments and also look at these questions that have been raised, whether it is now about Joe Biden in Ukraine, now China. We're actually seeing, there's reporting out here recently this week, that there were calls made to the Department of Justice and the Department of Homeland Security encouraging policies that his son had been hired to lobby on behalf. These are a lot of questions that are now being raised.